This is the PD Movie Wireless File Focus, and this is a little contraption that I built that allows me to both view my image, control settings, stop and start record, and pull focus on even manual lenses. Let's get into it. So first I have a little cage on my A7S. I'm going to take this little hot shoe rail adapter, and this is going to lock both the rod and the cold shoe, so that way they're both very secure. I'm going to take the motor itself, and I already have little focus gears on this Helios 44-2, so this will just nicely fit into place. Next, we have to install the battery, and we can push that down, and then there will be a little red light that will light up, showing us that it is receiving power. We'll turn that on in just a second. Next, I want to show you the actual controller for the PD Movie. This entirely controls the the motor, so if I were to turn this on, and now I can remotely control the focus from this tiny little controller. So it has a little cord 20 on the end, so we can attach this to, let's say our cage, just right up here. So with this setup, I can smoothly and easily change my focus with just my thumb and pointer finger. I'm not rotating my arm and providing extra camera shake from the lens into the body. Here, I'm just very secure, and I can pull focus. So this is a really neat compact setup, which is pretty useful for manual lenses that have extremely long focus throws. So I'm gonna take this off and we're going to move over to setting up the wireless remote rig. So this is the remote air that comes with the PD Movie. And to use this, you take the small controller and you kind of smoosh it in to feel it kind of hit its, those threads. And then you rotate it to let it tighten in then you're gonna keep rotating it until you can't turn it anymore. And now you can utilize this big focus wheel, just like a more traditional wireless follow focus. You can write on here, get your focus marks, but this is just the controller. We need some way to actually mount our phone so that way we can pull focus. And to do that, I have a small little cold shoe mount by small rig, and I'm just going to screw this right into the top and then get that tightened down Next, I'm gonna grab this little Andy Cine monitor mount. This will provide us with extra articulation for our phone mount. So I just have a really cheap phone mount that I'm gonna be using. Screw that in, and then we'll grab our phone, slot that in. And so now, if I want to adjust the angle of my phone, well, I can do it right there. No unscrewing, nothing, it's just very easy. You can just roll with this setup if you want, or if you want to spice it up, you can add a little tripod legs on the bottom, and there you go. You can set up and then you can pull focus just like so. So we're halfway set up, I'm able to pull focus, but I need some way to actually monitor the image. And to that, I'm using my phone and using the Monitor Plus app, which I'm able just to connect to my camera. So once it's connected, I can view the image, I can adjust my camera settings like ISO, white balance. I even have additional tools with the Pro version, I'm able to apply a LUT, do anamorphic de-squeeze, and even false color. All this stuff is accessible to me to view my image so I can make sure I'm controlling it when I'm at a distance and not right behind the camera. And of course, most importantly, I can make sure that I am in focus, even on a manual lens. A couple aspects I really like about the PD Movie Wireless Follow Focus is for one, it's just so simple and easy to use and it just works right away. Typically when I have used wireless follow focuses in the past, it always tends to kind of lose connection and it's unreliable. So when I saw something this affordable and to my surprise, it just works so darn well. The minute you turn it on and you just make sure that it is connected, bam, it, it works solidly. The other advantage is that this thing is by far the smallest follow focus system setup you can have. The little tiny controller is great to mount onto your actual rig and a variety of places. You can mount it on the side, mount it on the top. By using this remote wireless setup, you're able to have control over your camera at a distance. Let's say if you're in front of a camera, like in YouTube setups, this is by far one of the simplest and most reliable setups I have come across. There are a couple quirks I came across with the PD movie that I think could be improved with another version, for instance. The first of which is if you want to turn off the motor, there is no power off switch. You have to remove the battery. Sometimes it requires a little bit of effort to remove the battery and that might not be ideal. The other thing is kind of similar is that the controller, once you fit it into the remote 
wheel, it's a little bit finicky. You have to kind of push it in there and that the side cover actually kind of pops out once you do it right. So that is just one little downside that it's a little bit clumsy to get in and out. If you're looking at this wireless setup and you're thinking of how well it would work in a narrative sense where you have to be really critical on your focus and doing it live when there actually is a take. And for that, I would say this is not the most optimal setup. Now, don't get me wrong, the PD movie is just fine and would work great on set. It's the fact that using a phone and the camera connection does cause some latency. So it's not perfect. It can do the trick in a pinch. Again, for very simple setups with nothing happening too crazily, I think it does work just fine. So that's gonna wrap up the review of the PD movie wireless follow focus. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.